Number 27. What will be the final temperature of the pan and water in blah? This problem. If 0.26 kilograms of water was placed in the pan and 0.01 kilograms of the water evaporated immediately. All right. So basically, uh, this is the information that we need. All right. We have uh, a certain initial mass of water uh, is 2.6 uh, kilograms. And the initial temperature of that water is 20 degrees Celsius. It's going to be placed in a pan. And what's going to happen, though, as soon as it's placed in the pan, 0 0.01 kilograms of this value will become evaporated. All right, it will, it will evaporate and turn into gas. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, they also tell us some information about the aluminum pan itself. We have the mass of the pan and the initial temperature of the pan. And we are uh, asked to now uh, find out basically what the uh, final temperature is. Okay. Ch please check out number 24. Uh, problem number 24 went through a very detailed discussion of how to come to this conclusion. Uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, first figure out if the water will boil, okay? This problem, it will not, right? I can kind of just tell from the numbers. I see that this mass is half of that, but I know that the uh, specific heat of water is four times that as uh, the aluminum, okay? The aluminum is about 900. And therefore, the final temperature will lie not in the middle of these two, but it will lie closer to uh, the initial temperature of water than it will to the initial temperature of the aluminum, which should be well below 100. So I know it's not going to, I know uh, this will not evaporate um, at all, except for the 0.1 kilogram that they mentioned. Okay. Like I, like I was mentioning, if you want to figure out, if you want to uh, identify how to actually get to that conclusion, please check out number 24. So I basically know that the heat lost, okay, I have to start with the general principle that the heat lost from which object? Well, the heat will be lost from the aluminum pan. Why? It's hotter. I mean, right? That's simple as that. So the heat lost from the aluminum, negative, must equal then the heat gained, and that's positive, of the water. Okay? Um, you have to place in your signs here. Please be very careful with that. If you don't, the math will be will be all over the place. All right? You will not, you will not get the right answer. Now, we have to realize that there's actually two things that the, the, there are two ways that the water is absorbing the heat. One way is by increasing the temperature from 20 to whatever the final temperature will be, somewhere less than 100, and then also to evaporate this mass. So really, and this is similar to the prior problem, so check that one out too if you like. So this one will be then Q of the aluminum will equal now uh, the heat absorbed by the water going from, let's say, 20 degrees all the way to whatever, it's less than 100, plus then the energy required to cause it to vaporize, okay? Now I can expand on everything I need, all right? Now I can expand. I can take a look at these formulas now. So this is negative Q of the aluminum, so we need to know the mass of the aluminum, specific heat of the aluminum, times the change in temperature of the aluminum, will equal then the mass of the water, multiplied by the specific heat of the water, multiplied by the change in temperature of the water, plus then the mass of the water that is uh, evaporating, multiplied by the heat of vaporization, okay, of water. All right. Uh, so now uh, let's calculate. All right, let's throw in what we can. So the mass of the aluminum, they told us, 0.5 kilograms. All right, so negative, it's in this problem. So point, let me start, give myself plenty of space. So there's going to be 0.5. Specific heat aluminum, that has to be looked up, 900. The change in temperature of the aluminum, well, it's going to, the final temperature is something I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. But the initial started at 150, right? So I set it up like that. It's always final minus the initial. We'll equal now the mass of the water, right? That changes temperature from 20 to something. Now, remember, that is not the 0.26. Because right off the bat, as soon as this water was dumped in, we evaporated 0 0.01 kilograms. So technically, you'd have to take the total amount of water, 0 0.260, and subtract out the 0 0.01. All right, times the specific heat of the water is 4184. The change in temperature at some final value minus the initial, right? It'll, it will be minus then 20. Okay. And that looks good. And then plus now... Uh, this will be positive, okay? Anytime this value is positive, you got to con consider the sign. If you're going from liquid to uh, gas, 
it's a positive value. If we're going gas to liquid, it's a negative value. Okay, you got to consider how the heat is flowing. Whenever heat flows out, whenever an object loses heat, it's negative. If it gains heat, it's positive. It's fairly straightforward. So the mass, what mass is actually evaporating? Well, the mass that's evaporating is the 0.01, right? As we mentioned before, times then the uh, heat of vaporization, right? And, uh, oops, forgot to write that down. <laughs> and uh, what was it, 20, 2,000, there it is, 2,256. 2,256, all right? That's in kilojoules, but please be careful. You got to have that in, in uh, joules, all right? Because everything else in this problem is in joules, so multiply that by 1,000. Now let's just clean things up, all right? So there's going to be 0. 0.5 times 900. Oops, got to turn it on first. 0. 0.5 times 900. And that's going to be 450, right? This is basically negative 450. And then what I'm going to do is distribute that to each of these two terms. So then we're going to have negative, negative 450 TF uh, plus now 450 times 150. And it's positive. So this is 67,500, 67,500. Okay, that will now equal. Uh, this now works out to be right 0 0.025. And you know what? I'm just going to calculate it all in the calculator. Sorry, point, so point 0 0.025 multiplied by 4184. And then I'm going to distribute. So this, this whole thing becomes now, uh, this whole thing becomes 104.6. And then I have to distribute that now to each of these two terms in the parentheses, right? So then it's 104.6 TF minus then times 20, uh, 2092. So 2092. Okay, great. And then plus now, we have that value to deal with over there. So it's basically uh, 2256. Get rid of two of the zeros out there. So it's only one zero. Plug in your comma there. It's 22,560. All we got to do now is combine like terms. All right. So actually, let me add these two together right now. And then I'm just going to save a little space. So we got uh, 22,560. Right. Minus then that answer. So this is 20. 20,468, so I'm just going to erase this, 20,000, 20,468, and now let's move some terms, let's add the 450 TF, okay, add the 450 TF, I know my handwriting is getting really messy, this is minus 2468, minus 2468, And now, what are we left with? Well, let's figure it out. So we got 67,500 minus then that value is 47,000 now, 47,032. 032 will equal now 450 plus 104, right? So that's going to be 554.6 TF. Now just divide out the 554 for both sides. So divide 554, one second. Divide out then the uh, 554.6, great, and we get about 84, okay, 84.8. So here we have now the final temperature here is going to be about uh, 84, 84, 84.8 degrees, right, and that'll be in terms of Celsius. Okay, there we go. So that is indeed now the final temperature. That's what it will come to, and as we said before, Right, if you were to look at the halfway point between 20 and 150, right, what's the the average basically? What would it be? So it'd be 170 over 2, right? So it'd be about 85, right? Now notice it lies, as I was mentioning, it lies just a little bit closer to the water, okay, than it did to the, um, than it did to the, uh, what do you call it? Whatever you call it over here. Uh, what is it? Aluminum, the aluminum pan. <laughs> All right. Also, what also is uh, why it's really close, actually, is because the initially the water evaporated. If I didn't take this into account, all right, then you would see this this value would be even closer to the 20 degrees Celsius than it is uh, currently. All right. But um, yeah. So, OK, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. All right. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.